everybody and welcome to my channel. Today is gonna be a really awesome video. So today we are gonna look at the cost of every single school in the United States and rank it judging by how expensive or how cheap it is. So we are gonna really get into it. This is gonna be long. <laughs> so this is probably gonna be super long. I'm not really excited to film this. It's gonna take all day, but not for you. Like it's gonna be reasonable and it's gonna be super informative for you. So this is gonna give you the cost in a nutshell, like in a bird's eye view of how much dental schools actually cost in the United States. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Hi guys, this is Editing Casey here. So I'm editing the video right now and I am coming up with three and a half hours of footage and I'm finding that it's really all kind of important. All of the information is necessary. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna upload last half an hour footage and I'm gonna edit it slightly. And it's gonna be about 11 minutes of information, but it's gonna be all of the prices of every school in the United States. So you will get all the information that I promised to you. And if you want to know more about how I found the information and talk specifically about each and every school, all of those three hours of footage will be available on my course, on my website that's coming out this summer. There's gonna be actually much, much more footage there, but just specifically about the prices of the school, um, the part that I was talking about here will be available there. So if you're interested, this is gonna be all of the information that you like need in a nutshell, but if you're interested in more specifics, if you're kind of just starting your application process and you like really need the information and you really need it in depth, that's gonna be on my website this summer. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we're going to talk about the cost of schools state by state. Now, these are the cost of schools per year. So I just pulled them from my previous slides that we talked about before. So these are also listing all of the states where you can actually go to school. So it gives you a good understanding of where, like of the range of your movement of where you can go, where you cannot. So since I was applying, there are a lot of new states that have added like Tennessee, for example, which wasn't available when I was applying. So that's nice. It seems like the trend that the schools, the amount of schools are growing. So in the future, hopefully um, there will be more, uh, you know, more dental schools and more options for us. Uh, so the only state that I am missing here is Florida, because as we remember, University of Florida has not released, um, University of Florida does not really have advanced sending program. It does, but it better nobody goes there. Um, and uh, NOVA hasn't released their uh, amounts yet. So they will release them once their application opens. They're one of the later schools. So this is the only part set missing from here. But we can see that um, schools that the name, name of the school is not listed next to the number is the school is it means that this state has only one school. And um, if there are multiple numbers here, it has the name of the schools listed nearby. So you can compare the prices of the schools um, in each state. For example, if you live uh, in Massachusetts and you want to stay in Massachusetts, you have an option to go into BU and to Tufts. And here you can see that Tufts is much more expensive than BU. So in Missouri, your price is going to be about 130000 in mass, the price will range from 88 to 116. In New York, you have a lot of options. There are a lot of new schools opened in New York since I applied. So the cheapest school in New York is Tuoro. So that is the um, Medical College of New York, I think. It's it's relatively, it, well, the school's not new, but they opened the dental program recently. Um, let's find that, where did that go? Tuoro is right here. Tuoro College of Dental Medicine at New York Medical College. So they are pretty, um, you know, reasonably priced right here. Let's move it closer at, um, 95,000, but everything else will be over um, 100,000 and Columbia 162,000, which is one of the most expensive schools. Uh, then California, of course, everything in California is going to be expensive, except for Western. Western is actually kind of cheap, but I'm a little bit suspicious about this price. And I would recommend double checking because it's surprisingly cheap. It may be um, named for American students, or it may be just uh, has a lot of additional fees that we don't know about. But as of now, and as of what I could find, it's 50000 which is an amazing price for dental schools per year. And everything else is going to be over 100000 in Indiana, the schools that I'm actually pretty suspicious of, I don't really know if they're real or not. So, so Louisiana is going to be 92000 which is a pretty good price for a school. Then we got Wisconsin at 75000 
Tennessee, 144. That's actually in Nashville, Tennessee, which is a wonderful place to live. I love that city. So definitely take a look at this school. New Jersey, which is Rutgers, 101. Illinois has two schools and they're about the same price of around 95, 93,000. Pennsylvania has multiple schools and they're also kind of in the same range uh, with the cheapest one being University of Pittsburgh. And that's 86,000. I love Pittsburgh. I think it's an amazing town too. So check that out. Iowa, 88,000. Alabama, 81,000. Kentucky, 85,000. Michigan, that's your Michigan. Your Michigan is extremely expensive. I mean, your Michigan is extremely difficult to get into, even though the price is really good. But don't kind of think that this is not one of the cheapest schools we're going to go there um it is very very difficult school it's considered like one of the ivy league schools in the united states and they are very very rigorous but you michigan is 77,000. minnesota 120,000. nebraska 83,000. nevada 84 maine 53 which is a wonderful price uh, portland maine is a newer school it's, it's tiny it's a teeny tiny school and they're actually really really I love that town, but it's kind of a remote place to live. There's not literally nothing around. Um, North Carolina, 133,000. Oklahoma, a whopping 193,000. So yes, that is, that is the most expensive school in the country. But in, it's, I can't say if, it's what, if it is the best school in the country, but if my, on my personal experience, it is an amazing, amazing school. Does it worth 193000 I don't know, but it, my experience was wonderful there. So Washington, 110, Virginia, 30. So that is definitely the smallest number here, but it's difficult to assess if that's correct. UVA is a good school in general like it's it's generally a really good college but again 30,000 seems very very low to me but um definitely take it with a grain of salt it would be a school of choice for everybody it's cheaper than residency programs it's cheaper than AJD this is an amazing price for advanced ending program so definitely consider applying there in Texas, University of San Antonio is 50,000, which is, they're kind of standalone schools. They don't participate in CAPID. Um, so that price is reasonable for them. They take very small amount of applicants. They're, you would think that they're less competitive because they're not on CAPID, but they're so well known at this point that people specifically want to go there. It's the only program in Texas. And Texas is a huge and popular state. So people really want to go there. But so they are definitely are not looking for students. Students come to them. And the last slide that I have for you guys is the cheapest and the most expensive schools. So the cheapest, as we discussed, is UVA, University of Virginia. Um, it's 30,000, but definitely definitely double check don't kind of count on you know say 30,000 uh when you live in your home country and travel to the United States with that 30,000 or 60,000 thinking that it's going to be enough for two years of education it uh, might not so definitely don't just apply to one school because of the price as I said before you definitely can pay for it with your salary after you graduate so the price in and of itself shouldn't be the decisive factor but of course, the most expensive school, as I told, is University of Oklahoma with 193000 Plus, University of Oklahoma has a lot of hidden costs. Uh, you will have to buy your own scrubs. It is not included. You will have to buy your own loops. It is not included. And you will have to buy your own instrument kit, which is also not included. Aside of that, you will have an extra half a year that will cost um, a separate amount plus to that. So that is this number is going to be over 200000 um, I already said a lot about OU. I always talk a lot about OU, but again, I just want to stress this out. So if you're looking at these numbers and you think I'm going to just apply to the schools that are under 100,000 or like under, you know, under 50,000, which you have options, you know, there are a few schools that are 50,000, 53,000, 30,000, 50,000. You have options to apply to that if you don't want to acquire a lot of student debt, but I just wouldn't, I wouldn't make this your decisive factor. It definitely is good to know what's your investment going to be, but 
again, this is not the most important thing in the schools. And you definitely 100% can pay this student debt off. I can guarantee you nobody has crushed under student debt before because wherever you work, like no matter how much you work, even if you work like me two days a week, you will make enough to cover your student loan payments. So even if you take out a student loan of, of 200,000 a year and student loans are usually higher than just tuition because you need other things too. You need to account for a cost of living. You need to account for transportation, textbooks and all of that stuff. So the, your student loan per year is gonna be more expensive, but definitely you know, don't stress about this. This is not what's gonna make or break you. And this is not gonna affect your future life just as the quality of life and how much your payments is going to be. It's of course would be wonderful to pay a student debt on $60,000 and pay percentage of that and, you know, pay it off almost immediately or paid longer than with the debt of like $400,000. Obviously there is a difference there, but definitely apply wide. You have a lot of options with different price ranges and just kind of don't make this your decisive factor. If you got into like multiple school, like if you live in Massachusetts and you got to both BU and Tufts, pick BU, even if Tufts, Tufts is not a better school, by the way, Tufts sucks. But if you pick a cheaper school, if you have, if that's your decisive factor, if you have your application letter, if you have your acceptances letter on your hands, pick the one that's cheaper. Don't think that, oh, but this school is marginally better. They're going to teach me so much more. Like, for example, if you got into BU and you got into Columbia in New York and you think, well, well Columbia must be so much better because it's so much more expensive. It isn't. Who cares if it's so much better? You're going to get your diploma. Just get the hell out of there and start working. Why do you need twice as much student debt? You don't. So that's kind of up to you to decide. But the point of this video is to let you know that don't let the money stop you. You will be able to pay it off, especially if you have a residency status in the United States and uh, you're not just coming on a student visa and taking private loans. If you take any kind of federal loan, there's so many ways to pay it off. So definitely don't let it stop you. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was like, that took me like three days to film it, Jesus. But uh, this is definitely the most researched video I have ever filmed. So I hope you found it helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It, I know it was a long one. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are interested in me helping you apply to dental schools, please reach out. The link is in the description. That's where you can talk to me. Um, I also have a book here is my book it's available on Amazon this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to get a dental license in the United States it's super cheap it's $19.99 it's Amazon it delivers everywhere Amazon delivers if Amazon does not deliver in your country reach out and we can figure out how to get this book to you so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one bye